gentlemen, I'm here to ask you one simple question. Have you ever wanted to build your own city? Make your own skyline? By all means, take over the planet. Well, you've come to the right place with City Skylines. Quite an old game at this point, but it doesn't matter if it's old. It's not even old. It's actually still quite new, but it's a wonderful game. And I thought I'd show you guys what it's like to build a city that no one else has built. Caribbean City, Santo Domingo. Welcome. And gentlemen, welcome back to Santo Domingo. So far, the progress we've made actually has uh, not been substantial. First episode, but uh, laying down the foundation has uh, been quite a lot of fun. It's always hard figuring out exactly how you want to take up a certain amount of space and how you want to actually utilize it. And if you do make a mistake or actually want to make changes in the future, you always have to keep in mind that the progress returning back to where you started could be a bit of a pain so a lot of these things are made with a uh, quite a bit of extra room which will of course will be taken up you don't want everything to be absolutely crowded this is not Tokyo <laughs> but um, so far what we've made um, we've uh, improved the midtown section of the uh, area so far we've got quite a lot of um, acres of land honestly here it is a bit tight here but I'm looking to make this uh, sort of a uh, 
tight knit space of uh, some lower to highish skyscrapers. Honestly, this will mostly be a, a business district. Honestly, so we're gonna be looking at some. Uh, <laughs> Op uh, I don't even know, but it's gonna be mostly off uh, in this area. We're probably gonna have a uh, subway station here and here where people can uh, switch over. I haven't, I still don't know how to quite fill it up yet, and we'll probably have a, uh, a bus depot somewhere around here. Probably, uh, I haven't quite figured out. We do have a major bus depot here, so if we do need an extra line of some kind, maybe an express. It, we can fill it up here, but I doubt we'll need to do that. These streets are already so small. I really want to limit how much uh, s traffic goes through here. Although we've, you know, already limited it by only having four connections. So coming in through here, through here, which will probably make it you know, one way out, one way in. It's honestly the best way to do these things. Uh, one way out here, one way out here. We have not connected this road quite yet, this avenue, sorry, quite yet to anything else. Uh, besides, of course, this one and the left-hand side. We'll figure out eventually how to connect these things, but right now I'm just trying to make sure that we reach some sort of connection, outside connection, so we can get some people start, some people rolling in. That way we can actually start plotting in some residential zones, some uh, industry, and office and commercial zoning, which will hopefully be very, very soon. It's a shame that this map is just so goddamn large. It's just amazing. The amount of room that you have, and you just don't want to waste any of it because it's just too good. Uh, besides this area so far, we've uh, made changes to the highway. We're actually, I uh, decided to uh, say screw it and uh, just skip all over all this. This could very widely change, and I'd rather just not, you know come as we go. Um, I, I do like the uh, thing I've got going on here with this main avenue just going all the way straight up. I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a great idea. Everything else is changing, but this one avenue will always stay like this, and this one avenue will always stay like this, and that's, I think it's a great idea. And everybody should honestly have just at least one avenue heading north or south that just, go, it just goes straight up, straight down, straight left and right. That'll should honestly help out a lot. The highway system, now that we're getting close to it, is, uh... I don't quite know what to do with it just yet. I have downloaded an asset, asset from the workshop, which is the... I think it's called the trombone. Trumpet. Yes, the th <laughs> three-way trumpet interchange. Honestly, it's a fantastic asset. I think all of you should really download this. It's not going to fit most of your uh, needs, more than likely, but it's quite fabulous in the way that it does. It makes just makes everything look so simple. It's fantastically realistic, and it's uh, really got no issues at all that I can uh, see or tell, except this uh, directly vertical wall. <laughs> just, no, just joking. It's a perfect wall. Uh, but it, yeah, it, it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the sloped... Um, ramps up here as well. It just it it looks fantastic honestly and makes it look a little bit more realistic with it not being completely flat. I don't quite know yet how to actually I guess I can't quite work on this one yet. That's why I stopped construction. Uh because it's uh as you can see here it's quite a bit of a distance between here and here. It's kind of like one of those memes where you or one of those things that you'd never do, which is begin construction from one end of a bridge and at the same time begin it on the other side. Always begin from one side and finish up on that side. Unless you're pretty confident or pretty close. But in this regard, I honestly think I may have to push all the way back here and uh, just work on this side first. Honestly, it'll probably be the best option. That way I can perhaps uh, move this slightly more to the left and work on it. I don't know if I want to have it raised the way it is currently here or flat. I believe raised does look slightly better in my opinion, uh, at least in this particular map. I just Something about having it raised just looks more realistic. It just seems a bit out of place with it being so flat, but maybe it's the lack of uh, buildings around it. Maybe it's the um, 
Windows XP background here that we've got going on. Uh, honestly, I don't quite yet know, but I do know that I want to get this thing figured out here, and I kind of messed it up, and I have no idea how to fix it now again. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh, well, we can't put it back together, so let's uh, just throw it out and start all over. So far, however, I am pretty pleased with the actual progress that we've made so far with Santo Domingo, with the residential islands to the left or to the right. Uh, these islands here, so far, I do not want to touch these, or uh, honestly, this I don't even know. It's such a weird shape, it's such a weird location. I think I might actually utilize this. Uh, we'll probably have to straighten up the island a little bit, make it more straight. Uh, it's just kind of freaking me out. I don't know what to do with it. All these boats, honestly, I have no idea where they're coming from. Or why they're here. There's... It's... Why? If you guys want to go into the island or throughout, you know, like this is a, some sort of Panama Canal, uh, I guess, do come through here, through here, you know, all the way out here. Bam, you're out. Or same thing with this way. Come all the way here and out through there. Boom, you're out. Uh, but I don't know why. Uh, are you trying to make your way in here, boy? That's probably going to work out the best for you, but let's check it out. Where are you going? That's right, you ain't going in shit. Huh? Huh? What are you, are you doing the same thing? What is this? What is this? You guys are just using my island? Get off my lawn! God damn it, these boats, I tell you what. Just using my land like it's theirs. Uh, t yeah, I... T yeah, you... Yeah, you... Fucking F. Get off my lawn, you boats! God damn, look at all these kids. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, so far, um, not much progress has been made. Screw the outside connection. I'm working on that currently, Mayor. Excuse me, Governor. I am the Mayor. Don't worry, bro. Relax. Uh, honestly, I'm very excited for what I'm going to do with these things. I don't quite yet know. I'll have to figure it out. I did not show you as well. I actually made this thing a little bit deeper. Actually, considerably deeper than it was before, as you can see here. It's actually got even a little bit of a vortex, which is quite dangerous. But regardless of that, I made it quite a bit deeper. Quite a bit more angled to avoid the water coming over the ridge and throwing my land. Damn boy. And uh, I wanted to, I don't even know what you call these, but I wanted to make a, I made this thing just absolutely, look at that, bonkers deep down there. That thing probably was, uh, before I even started on that, was uh, around here, honestly. That, that, I keep saying honestly, but honestly. <laughs> At this point, I've just made it as deep as possible just because it's, uh, I don't know. I like it. I think it looks great now. This little area, I don't even know if I'm going to touch up. I th it's, I've got way too many things to deal with than this little piece of, you know, untidy land or whatever. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that works out. I did remove all the trees on this side. You know, like this is some sort of Haiti, Dominican border. <laughs> Except the other way around. Uh, I probably said it before that... Uh, it's just much easier to work with uh, a clean plate, honestly. I mean, you don't eat off of a dirty plate, do you? Do you? I don't. I always wash it beforehand, but... Yeah, it just helps out. I'll probably, of course, everything will be edited afterwards with some beautiful trees. You are so lonely out here, aren't you, buddy? With some beautiful trees and... Uh, we'll make some beautiful cinemas and... Uh, or scenery. Cinemas. Yeah, well, so I'm just going to play as a movie theater down here and a cinema down here. Yeah, yeah, just... No. But yeah, guys. Thank you for joining us today. This is Santo Domingo. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>